Hello, and welcome to this tutorial on the triggers functionality of Win Automation. Instead of using schedules that we've discussed in another video, with Win Automation you can set a process to execute only if a particular event occurs. For example, let's say that a process reads a particular database for records upon receipt of an email. The method to invoke the process in this case is an email monitor trigger. The triggering methods of a process can vary. Click on the Triggers tab in the Win Automation console, and then click on the New button to add a new trigger. And you will see the triggers that Win Automation supports. First, there is the File Monitor trigger. A File Monitor trigger starts a process once the selected event occurs in the selected folder, or even a subfolder if you select that option. For example, you can choose to search the desktop for any TXT files that have been changed or deleted. For now, exclude the info.txt from being monitored. Just like in schedules, in all triggers, you can set a custom description explaining the purpose. Next, you need to specify the process to which you want to apply this trigger on. And as you can see, the trigger has been set and enabled. Another handy way to invoke a process is the hotkey trigger. Using the hotkey trigger, you can set a particular keyboard combination to start the process. For this example, set the Alt plus I key combination to invoke the Generate ID process. Navigating to the Processes tab, you can see the trigger symbol next to the Generate ID process, and by right-clicking on it, you can show the assigned triggers. The next available trigger is the Idle Monitor trigger, which will trigger a process once a specific time has elapsed, in this case 10 minutes, during which there was no user activity on the system. In the example mentioned in the beginning of the video, a process that queries a database executes only upon receiving an email. For this, you will need to use the Email Monitor trigger. The Email Monitor trigger requires you to set the IMAP server and port number, as well as your login credentials, username and password, as well as the properties of the incoming email, like subject, to and from fields, etc. For example, the trigger can be set to start a process when an email containing the subject database population completed is received. Win Automation checks for that email every five minutes, a value that you can change at will. The Event Monitor trigger checks for a particular event that occurs on the workstation so that the process can start. The Ping Monitor trigger allows you to check if a connection to a particular host disrupts and triggers a process you can specify the periodicity of each communication attempt. With Win Automation, you can also monitor a Windows service behavior and trigger a process once this is started, stopped, or paused. Similarly, a process monitor trigger would invoke a process when a process starts or terminates. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how you can manage automated tasks with Win Automation triggers.